Hey everyone, so today I just want to do a close-up of the wheels on my Shelby GT350R. Uh, starting in 2015 with the introduction of the S550 generation Shelby GT350R, uh, the car was the first mass-produced vehicle to feature all carbon fiber wheels from the factory. Uh, there have been other manufacturers that had done carbon fiber wheels prior to this, but those are typically uh, boutique, very expensive cars that most people could not afford. This was really the first car affordable to the masses that featured an all carbon fiber wheel. There is a little bit of metal on this wheel. I will go over that in a minute and just show what parts of the wheels are metal, but almost the entire wheel itself is carbon fiber. Uh, these were made for Ford by a company called Carbon Revolution out of Australia. Uh, they make carbon fiber wheels not only for Ford, but for Ferrari and a couple other manufacturers as well. This also has the factory tire on it, Michelin Sport Cup 2. Uh, this wheel and tire package is extremely aggressive. Uh, it's designed mainly for track use. You can drive it on the street, but the tires are not really designed to last that long. They have very little tread. Um, they are not good for any sort of cold or wet driving. They're really only designed for dry track use. Uh, the front tires are 305 3019s. The back tires are 315 3019s. So it's a pretty big wheel and a very low profile and wide tire. The front tire wheels are uh, 11 inches back uh, wheels are 11 and a half inches. So it's uh, a pretty big setup uh, These are very lightweight compared to the standard GT 350 wheels. Uh, these are about 18 pounds Whereas the aluminum equivalents are about 33 pounds So you're saving about 15 pounds of unsprung wheel weight on each corner now when these came out There was a little bit of controversy with them being painted a lot of people felt look This is a carbon fiber wheel. They are extremely expensive A lot of people wanted to see the carbon fiber some people liked the subtleness of them being painted so it didn't it wasn't as flashy and didn't wasn't a show off of a wheel so some people like it's painted some people don't I'm kind of mixed on it I kind of like the painted look but I would maybe like to be able to see a little bit of the carbon uh, if you look real closely which I'll show in a minute you can see a little bit of the weave through the paint but for the most part unless you know what these are you would never know that they're carbon fiber because they are uh, pretty well painted uh, as far as the cost of these wheels, they are obviously very, very expensive, especially compared to an aluminum wheel. Front wheels are about $4,000 each. The backs are about $3,500 each. So, uh, like I said, they are painted from Carbon Re by Carbon Revolution for Ford. So, they're, they're painted this uh, gloss black color. Now, this is the front wheel. Now, if, you're, if you've ever looked at a GT350R up close, I wonder, what, what's that white thing on the barrel? Is that unfinished? Is it just something done cheap? What that essentially is, it is a spray-on ceramic heat reflective coating. Uh, similar to what is used on the space shuttle, from what I've read, uh, it is designed to, because the front brakes are so big and get, can get so hot during uh, extended track use, uh, it could actually deform the carbon. So what that does is that reflects the heat away from the carbon because the carbon will not tolerate heat the way a metal wheel would. So uh, it, wheels are still a little bit dirty. Unfortunately, with these uh, super aggressive brakes, the wheels get dirty extremely quickly. But you see around the closer to the front of the wheel, this whole barrel has this coating on it as well as the back side of the spokes do as well. It gives it a very, very rough texture, very similar to almost like concrete. It's a little bit difficult to uh, clean. You can't clean it with like a microfiber. You have to use a scrub brush to clean it and they get dirty almost immediately once you start driving the car again. So there's really almost no point in, uh, in taking them off and scrubbing them all the time unless you're not going to drive the car. So the only real aluminum or metal actually on the wheels themselves is these retainers for the lug nuts where the shoulders meet up. These are aluminum. And on the back side, this whole hub piece is actually aluminum. If you look closely in the hole, you can actually see the metal retainers that hold the entire assembly to the carbon wheel itself. But this piece, and then where the lug nuts go on the front, that's the only actual metal of the wheel itself. And it saves about 15 pounds per wheel. So here's the uh, stickers from Carbon Revolution with the Ford stickers as well with the labels. So I got to say, these wheels are very impressive with how light they are. Uh, Ford has also claimed that because the carbon fiber is so stiff, it makes both the steering and the suspension more responsive to the vehicle. And if you look very closely, I'll try to get the light right, you can actually see the weave of the carbon fiber in the paint. So 
So this is a really good enhancement to a car to save quite a bit of weight and really improve pretty much everything. It's going to make the car handle better, stop better, accelerate better. And uh, it actually cuts down on uh, noise, vibration, and harshness since the uh, carbon fiber itself naturally uh, absorbs it. So like I said, you're talking about 18 pounds per wheel, but I, I grab my uh, scale and let's see what the whole package weighs together. Wheel, tire, all the related hardware. So roll this on, comes up. This is obviously the front. About 46 pounds we're talking. Let me make sure I just have it adjusted correctly. Yeah, about 46 pounds. So overall, a very, very light setup compared to its aluminum counterpart. So you're talking easily over 60 pounds with the aluminum equivalent wheel. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And you're able to get a uh, up close look at these because unfortunately a lot of people don't really drive with them on. They take them off because they're kind of scared. And most people don't get the chance to see them in person, but they are a very, very beautiful wheel. And it's, uh, I have to give Ford a lot of credit for being able to offer this on uh, a car for under $100,000. Now the new GT500 with the carbon fiber track package also features a carbon fiber wheel. The width and aspect ratio are the same, but that's a 20 inch wheel. And those wheels are not painted. They are just natural carbon fiber and you can see the, uh, the weave of those wheels. And they are also made by Carbon Revolution for Ford. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.